Hi, I'm Jim Springer with Computer Aided Technologies, the creators of ScanCat Lite Plus. This is the second of two Home Patrol instructional videos. And in the first video, we showed you how to create a favorites and how to send it to the radio. In this section, we're going to show you how to use the built-in radio reference database that exists on the SD card and also how to edit your favorites and then send them back to the radio so that you can make changes real easy without having to manipulate it through the radio itself. So we go to program radio. And in this case, we're going to end up with a blank database and we're going to fill it in with the data that's on the drive. So we go up here to load read radio Home Patrol Utilities, and it says load unit in Home Patrol data files. Now what it's going to ask you, or what it's going to tell you rather, is that the data that they have on this SD card is proprietary to radio reference, and they don't want you to use this to program any of your other radios, so you have to click OK to get past this. Then you type in your drive letter. and navigate to the Home Patrol HPDB, which is where the Home Patrol database is. And now you see we've got all of our states here. The ones with the voids are actually bypass lockouts, as you would call them in other radios. So I'm going to choose the Louisiana HPD. And what you see now is a display that is divided into basically two parts. Above this are conventional frequencies. Below this are trunking systems. Now you can click on either to get the results that you wish. So I'm going to look at CADO. And I'm going to look in the conventional under Shreveport City. Uh, doesn't seem to be a whole lot there. There's some in Caddo Parish. Water District Communications. Ah, oh, that seems to be quite a bit there. And I want to just kind of fill in the screens to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Down here are the same Cato Parish, but this is a trunking system. And when I click on this, let's see, hold on a minute. It takes a minute for it to warm up, I guess. Here's the Cato. And it has filled in the Cato Parish trunking system, which are a number of frequencies. If you hover your mouse over here, you can see there's 25 records. None of them are selected at the moment. And also, all of your talk groups. And they're kind of divided by this little equal sign in the name of the system. So, for instance, if I only wanted to listen to the Caddo itself, then all I would do would be to just click on each one of these. Now, if you click on the next one, it un selects this and this so what you do is you hold down your control key this is very similar to the way you do on looking up files in your explorer and if you hit control each time you do it would fill one in or you can hit the shift key and when you do that and you hit that one it highlights them all or you can just pick all of them and when you pick pick or select all what will happen is it will highlight or select, however you want to call it, everything in that system. And then what you want to do is you look at what bank you're on. And let's say we just want to put this in bank one. Now you can call these things any way you want, but we call them banks. And I want to copy the contents of this over to this system, including all the talk groups. You can do it in just one fell swoop. All you have to do is say save freaks and selected trunk IDs to the RSD bank. In this case it says three. Well I want to change that to one. Hit this and there they are. Got all the talk groups, got all the frequencies. The description is left blank because the radio really doesn't use this field so there wouldn't be any importance in putting this in here in a trunking system. Now, in a conventional system, things are working a little bit differently. So what we want to do is go back over to our home patrol. And I got this by looking at the bottom down here of my task running. 
and I'm going to go up here to Cattle Parish. Uh, let me change this to, uh, uh, let's see, somewhere in New Orleans, Jefferson. And here is uh, Grand Isle. Let's find one with some stuff in it. And not having a whole lot of hits there. Ah, here's some. Now, you got this with conventional frequencies, and then you got the description of what they are, and if applicable, you have the CTS or DCS tones. In this case, the C says they're CTS tones. And these tones are used much the same way as the old time, in the old time, as the new time trunking systems use. Talk group IDs and CTS tones are somewhat analogous. So what I have is a way to select all of these. Let's just pick them all. And then I say save conventional frequencies to the RSD bank. And I'm over here in bank 2. Bank 2. Hit it. And there they are. Now you'll see that the descriptions are here in this case because that's what will show up on a radio for conventional systems. Now... Once you get this done, you could go, I think, to another system, pick these frequencies. And in this case, I want to go over here, and it says I got the cursor on the 13th one, and it should copy them from there on down. Yeah, so I could add two systems into the same conventional bank. Now, that is how you use the data that is derived from the radio reference database that is on the SD card. If you want to combine two states, if you live on a bordering area, then all you would have to do is pick a different state. Uh, Texas would be a good example here. <clears throat> and it'll load up. <clears throat> and I could pick... Uh, uh, I think it's Greg, which is not too far from us, if I can find it. There's Greg. And uh, Kilgore. Select all. Notice the cursor's right here. Goes in there. So you see I've combined three s conventional systems in the same quote-unquote bank. And then all we have to do is go over here to load read radio. And if I'm through... convert as we did in the first video and I pick a name that is different than the one that I've used before uh, just to give you an example we created two systems in the first video report LA and special stuff and then I'll give this one new and I'll just call this uh, LA dash Texas Okay, hit accept, and you notice that uh, we got 1 through 11 now. This is going to end up being 12, and this favorite will be called LA Texas. Now, it does have some of the same frequencies in it that I used on my previous Shreveport system, but I can pick and choose, and if I create a number of favorites that are spaced from state to state to county to county across the trip that I'm going to take, it would be a very simple matter to just pick a different favorite on the fly, and I'd be scanning for that local area. Now, the last part of this is to show you how to use a favorite that you've already created in the radio and edit it. So what we want to do is we go to the same place again, Home Patrol Favorites, and I say read the favorites into an RSD database, and I'm going to pick this guy down here called Special Stuff. There they are. Looks like it took me two clicks to get there. However, you'll see that everything is just like we put it in there. Anything that I don't like, I could take out. Sometimes the easiest way to edit something is just put a space there. And then I could send this back to the radio 
as the same file. Since I've already picked LA Texas, all I'd have to do is hit accept. And that'd be all there is to it. So we've showed you how to use the built-in radio reference and the favorites. And if we got more to do, we'll create a third video. But that should be it for now.